What's up, Tap Warehouse fans? This is Rich. We're coming back at you with another episode of What's New at TW. Um, it's the end of February. Um, ice may or may not be starting to come off the lakes in the northern states of the U.S. Um, regardless, I have some awesome new gear for you to take out on the water this, uh, this upcoming pre-spawn and later this summer that you're definitely going to want to get your hands on. Starting off, we got the Jacob Wheeler Select Series from Ducket. Now this is a really cool rod that Jacob Wheeler designed in collaboration with the guys over at Ducket. One of his uh, signature rods, this is, this is the 6.9 right here, gonna be great for throwing jerk baits and any of that lightweight forward, forward facing baits that you're gonna wanna pair with your favorite bait casting reel. Um, starting at the butt of this rod, you have some really nice premium A-grade split cork handles here. Um, really nice componentry and you can see the wrapping is just, is just really nice. Um, and then you have this weedless hook keeper here, super easy to store, not just your weedless baits, but pretty much any treble hook bait on here. Um, that's definitely a one of my favorite hook keeper styles. Um, and then kind of moving up into the, into the blank and the guides on this thing, this is the Ducket Sensi, Sensi Touch blank. So it's a super light carbon fiber blank and it has double uh, carbon nano, nano scrim as well, which is gonna improve the durability and really get a lot of longevity out of this rod. So it also has these really unique Keegan 3D guides, these aluminum oxide uh, micro guides on here. And these things are really durable as well. And um, they're also super light and you can see they're a lot smaller than typical guides that you might see on a, on a 6.9 jerkbait rod. And then lastly, at the tip of this rod, we have a double flange tip. So it's gonna really add to your sensitivity and control. And it's also just gonna be a lot more durable than your standard uh, rod tips. So that's the Jacob Wheeler Select Series by Ducket. All right, guys, up next, we got the Squealer Toad from Spro. Now, this is kind of a new take on their Squealer Buzzbait series here. So this is a really cool bait, hence the name Squealer. We're gonna, you're gonna get some really interesting noise when you burn this thing on the surface. Whatever ba bass are keyed in on in the shallows um, in the early summer and spring, that might be toads, it might be mice, it might be small bait fish. This thing's gonna cause havoc that they're not gonna be able to resist. Um, and it's gonna create a lot of noise as well. So definitely grab yourself a few of these, add them to your Buzzbait arsenal. Um, really nice dimpled blade on here as well. Just gonna create a big bubble trail in the prop wash of this bait. So uh, grab yourself a few of these uh, squealer toads from Spro. All right, up next, this is the Greenfish Tackle G-Cast Jig. So this is kind of a, a typical style arky head, but it has a lighter wire hook on here. So you're really gonna be able to get through cover well with this style uh, jig head. And that light wire hook is gonna give you a lot better hook penetration than um, a more heavy grade of, of wire on your hook. Um, it has a really premium skirt on here and it, it just comes available in a wide array of colors. Um, so you're gonna be able to really match the hatch and kind of dial in what the bass are feeding on, especially if they're, if they're keyed in on crawfish and bluegill. Um, really select a natural skirt pattern uh, with this G-Cast jig here. So grab yourself a few of these. Um, Pre-spawn fish are gonna be up in the cover and um, they're gonna be looking to feed on bait fish, crawfish, and um, basically getting ready to do their thing up shallow here in the spring. All right, up next from Headhunter Lures. So this is the nasty 50-50 spinner bait here. Um, so we have a really unique wire that uh, that Headhunter decided to use for the spinner bait, and it's actually gonna produce a lot more vibration under the water than your typical spinner bait. And you can see, hence the name 5050, it has this really interesting gold silver finish on the blades. This is the Colorado Willow and this is the Double Willow. So a lot of those times when you're in that kind of brackish water and you kind of, it's kind of clear and you don't know if you should go gold or silver, why not go both? Um, and you could really elicit the, the, the feeding behavior of a big bass that might be uh, laid up in cover and um, you know, gonna, gonna pick this thing out from a mile away and destroy it. Um, it has really premium bearings on here, super sticky hook, um, and it also has a really nice interchangeable skirt. It has a wire keeper on the skirt so you could pair it with your favorite uh, swim baits, paddle tail, you name it, whatever you might wanna t uh, tip your spinner bait with to get more bites. All right guys, up next from Northland. This is the uh, the Smeltinator jig head and the Smeltinator underspin. So this was designed in collaboration with Brian Gustafson um, and it's really built to mimic the small kind of bait fish um, up in the north um, and really uh, key in on those fish right when the ice comes off the lakes up there that are kind of, that are honed in on that really small bait fish. It has a really nice light wire hook, 
premium holographic eyes and gill plates that are kind of cut out in the side of both the underspin and the straight jig head. Um, and man, this thing is gonna look super lifelike in the water. You could put it, put a small paddle tail on it, put a small fluke on it. Um, it's gonna really uh, represent what those fish are feeding on up north specifically. And then you have this nice ribbed uh, plastic keeper kind of integrated into the bait as well. Um, so that is the Northland Tackle Smeltinator jig head and the Smeltinator underspin right there. All right, and then last but not least, we have a whole array of uh, apparel from Aftco. So starting off, this is the these are the Aftco Aero Mesh shorts. And man, when I'm on the boat in the summer and I'm looking to cool down, this is exactly what I would want to be wearing. I mean, you have premium UPF protection, but you're also going to have that breathability um, that a lot of similar board shorts aren't going to have. It's really going to let you fish out, out on the water longer um, and stick it out during those hot days when, uh, when you need to stick it out and get bites. Kind of on a similar vein, so this is, this is another really cool, this is the, the Aftco Ocean Bound um, Sun Hoodie. So one cool thing about this, uh, this ocean bound lineup here is 65% of the polyester that's used in each of these shirts are actually taken from plastic bottles that were bound from the ocean. That's where the name ocean bounds comes from um, and built into the fabric of this shirt. So not only is it UPF 40, but you're also gonna be uh, helping out the environment, taking some plastic bottles that were in route to the ocean, um, and also just a really cool, clean camo design um, that's also gonna keep you cool during those long days on the water. All right, kind of another warm weather thing. This is, uh, this is a new hat they have. Um, really cool, kind of uh, more mountainy design, but also has a really nice polyester brim here that's gonna be really breathable during those long days on the water. Sometimes those cotton hats are, they can get really humid and hot. Um, this polyester hat's gonna definitely be a, a little bit more comfortable when the temperature really crawls up into that 90 plus degree range. And this is a one size fits most. So um, people of all head shapes and sizes are gonna uh, get, some, get some use out of this thing for sure. Alrighty, and last but not least, so um, I know we're kind of coming up on the end of the cold weather, um, but you know maybe you, you may have blown out your, uh, your previous insulated jacket that you were relying on all season, and this is an unbelievable replacement. This is the Aftco Forge insulated jacket. A um, couple cool things about this thing. So it has DWR, durable water repellency, and it also has four-way stretch. So it's not like a typical water repellent um, jacket where it's gonna be super stiff and hard to move around, but you're gonna get a really nice um, uh, maneuverability in this thing, um, helping you get around the boat and land those big fish that are wallowing up by the side of the boat um, in the cold weather. So finish off your season right. Don't compromise on your, on your gear and make sure you definitely get one of these AFCO Forge jackets if you're in the market for one. Thanks for watching this week's episode of What's New at TW. If you liked any of the products that you saw in the video, go ahead and check them out with the link in the description to learn more. And we'll catch you next time.